Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a watch that launched in 2018. 40 millimeters in stainless steel. This is the Laurent Ferrier Galley Annual Calendar. It's in the Montreco School Watch Case. 40 millimeters in diameter by 13 millimeters thick. It is 47 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with a vintage 19 millimeter spacing between the lugs. So the school watch case actually came out in 2017, the year before this annual calendar model, and it's designed to adapt the look of Laurent Ferrier's personal school watch, which was a pocket watch, to the aesthetic of a wristwatch, which is why it has a little bit of the early 20th century officer's watch or field watch look to it. Those two were converted pocket watches. But on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, you can see how easily it wears. It's very sloped in profile, so it will easily slide underneath the dress cuff, being fairly thin and sloped in profile. The lugs are short enough from edge to edge that I believe you could wear this watch well on a wrist of 13 and a half to 14 centimeters circumference. The strap is high grade. It's a sort of reddish brown, large rectangular scale alligator leather with a folded edge, a contrasting stitch, and then on the bottom, a wonderfully supple suede material. It feels absolutely fantastic. You can see that the buckle itself is more of a carryover from the standard galet because it has the sort of flowing organic shape of the standard galet, though you can see it as a Laurent Ferrier factory piece. It doesn't quite match the somewhat more severe profile of the lugs on the school watch. Now, we do have the look of lugs welded to a pocket watch. We also have the onion-style crown and the relatively rotund profile you would expect of such a conversion, but it's very much a wristwatch on the dial side. An annual calendar needs only one adjustment per year during the jump from February to March. We have a quick set system that allows you to rapidly cycle and set the date, and it will drive the month. Then we have a push button system to allow you to rapidly cycle the day, so you don't need any special tools to set this calendar. The dial is black, and it is beautifully matte black to resist glare with lovely white on black printing for legibility, a crosshair style center. We have white lacquered assegai or spear shaped hands, a sunken sub register, and a few accents of red to set it all off. The crown is vintage style, so unsigned. On the reverse side, you can see caliber LF12601. Lots to love. First note that it fits the case well. I always like to see a good match between movement size and case size. Next thing. The bridges has a, a lovely nickel anthracite across them, and that includes the bevels, which are an absolute mile wide. Look at how bright, glossy, and gleaming they are. That is done by hand, and you can also see that they're not just mirrored and rounded, they are exceptionally broad. I've often spoke of the quality of finishing you get on Romain Gautier watches, but I really do believe that Laurent Ferrier needs to be mentioned in the same breath. Perhaps a less vaunted brand, but equal in quality. And considering this watch has multiple complications, it also does a great job of cloaking them. So you saw the annual calendar, but on the reverse side, we have a power reserve indicator for the manual wind 80 hour power reserve. Take a quick look at the barrel. You can see that the teeth of the ratchet wheel, the silver wheel on top of the gold one, those have been mirror beveled on their sides. Then we have this lovely rounded and black polished click spring. You see that? that? That is the click with spring right there to prevent the barrel from turning backwards. We have handsome, broad, luminous stripes of exceptional quality and depth and gradient. Black polished screws with chamfered slots and chamfered circumference for fine detail generation of decoration. We have engine turning in two sizes on the base plate, two sizes at least, maybe three. There's solarization on the power reserve. And then we have a number of exterior points. You can see two bevels meet adjacent to the power reserve, forming a sharp point. The same is true at the end of the balance cock. Those are just as impressive as interior angles where two bevels meet at an inward angle, and we have one of those atop the escape wheel. Now, the balance is free sprung for precise adjustment, and it is adjusted in six positions, one more than a standard chronometer. It beats way at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It features an overcoil hairspring with a centered mass, so it breathes concentrically in any position. It doesn't speed up or slow down depending on the orientation with respect to gravity. Now, we have an escape wheel here, as well as an anchor, both created using Liga, and you can see that they're actually hollow, and that reduces 
reduces the amount of mass, improving efficiency. And then the timepiece, of course, 80-hour manual wind power reserve via one large barrel. Note that all of the jewel and screw sinks have been themselves polished, all of this water-resistant down to 30 meters. Reach out to Team Asa with thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.